Good evening, dear. I'm Tatten Rose, and welcome to Dear Esther Landmark Edition. It's from the same <laughs> guys as Everybody Gone to the Rapture, and as I said on my that my cat meows, as I said on my playthrough of Everybody Gone to the Rapture, I really loved this game. And I've never played the Esther. I just know it's from the same guys. I just know it opened a new genre or something like that. And that's it. I don't know anything about it. I just want to experience all the feelings for the first time blind. And yes, I welcome you to join me on this new journey. Let's go. Director's commentary. What? I don't know if we would want director's commentary. Just let, let's just start without it. Let's see what it is. Dear Esther, the gulls do not land here anymore. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing stock driving them away. Perhaps it's me. When he first landed here, Donnelly oh. wrote that the herds were sickly and their shepherds the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. 300 years later, even they have departed. I didn't know we were already playing. I thought it was a cutscene. Where the fuck they came from? They just emerged from the water. Hello? Please don't scare me. I'm not aware of this being a horror game. Everybody gone to Rapture was not quite horror. It was atmospheric, that's all. Hey, looks like my room. Nope, that's not my room. What is this? Could you please tell me? Is this some... I can't na name it. Something flew... Uh, something lighted up there. I don't know what. Okay. Nice, a toilet. Why am I here? I have a flashlight. That's alright. That's good. That's good to know. Please don't scare me. I don't know if it's... I don't think it's a horror game. Okay. Every... What? Every... Um... Whoa. Whoa. Do you know that feeling when you stand near war and this light? Like... Breeze. This wet breeze just comes floating into you. Right. Every button just zooms in. I can't really do anything else. Can I... can I run? No. Every, everything zooms in. I can look around and zoom in and walk. And the torch is activated by itself. Ooh, it's a bit... it's a bit eerie here. What happened? Uh, do I get... Uh, do I get another light like an everybody gone to rapture? I would like that. Even though we still don't really know what it is. Maybe it's from outer space, I think. Up the hill, down the hill. Oh, I love that. That's a nice detail. I'm just gonna go on for now. I'm gonna explore. I can't run. I, I think in Everybody Can't Rapture I couldn't go fast either. What's here? I love that. I really love that. It reminds me of very, very, very old memories of mine. Like, where on the. <coughs> I once were aware when I was a kid. Wow. <laughs> that wind kind of scared me for a second. When I was a kid, I was um, taken to the. We were driving up to Scotland and 
he just stood up there on the mountains and I'm sorry, I'm getting very nostalgic here. It's a very, very long time ago. Those islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. Okay. What? You kind of... You're really... Confusing me. What is this? What does that mean? Can't go into the wall, right? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I can't go in the wall. Because I'm going to drown. I'm going to die. And then the game is over. So we're going to do each chapter because the game saves each chapter as you said and Ooh, okay dear esther Lassie? i found myself to be as featureless as this ocean as shallow and unoccupied as this bay a listless wreck without identification hmm. my rocks are these bones and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay shot through me caves my forehead a mount this aerial will transmit into me so. All overexposed, the it's nervous the system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Okay. May, what's wrong with you? Who's Esther? Why are you so... down? That was not a cave, that was just some rocks. Where exactly are we? I mean, where in the world are we? What's a bloody big planet? We can be everywhere. Am I leaving those footsteps? No, that's not footsteps. Is this? Uh, either dead birds or... Uh, trash if it's dead birds it's just like everybody gonna go to rapture huh the hell are you I'm just trash Ooh, beautiful yes I think I I love that feeling I think I started to say something but I forgot it I'm very sorry yes. is this before everybody come to the rapture or, or after it because I have the feeling like I, I love this 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 graphic here don't 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 ah, ah too strong the wind sorry um I love the drag graphics here, but somehow. What? There's a lighthouse. There's a lighthouse. But somehow I get the feeling like. Um, everybody gone to the rapture was a bit more detailed, a bit more realistic. Motorcycles outside. I hope you can't hear them. They were Reading too. Donnelly by the weak afternoon sunlight. He landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. But then, he didn't have my reasons. One quick question though. Here's a fence, right? You. No, oh, you can't look really, no, you can't look really over the fence, but imagine if you would go here in real life and there would be no fence here, right? Like just like it's it's here. Would that scare you? I mean I'm not taking uh, I'm not talking about um being scared of heights. Uh, many people are, but I'm I'm not really scared of heights. It just 
It's just the respect of it. Like, all right, I could fall down there, but I could also move on. So let's do that, you know? But what kind of person are you? But you'll be really scared about it because I know my friend is, she's terrified of heights. She's really terrified and she freezes. It's, it's really no fun. I, I don't understand why some people make fun of, of um, fears. Uh, some fears can be funny to a certain degree, but heights not so much because she really freezes and she can't move from it. And it's like horror. You can't move from it. You just stare down and wait until someone pushes you <laughs> either to your death or to safety. <laughs> what am I talking about? I love it. I love it. It's been ages since I was born. Wow, music. It's been ages since I was out in the when nature. When someone had died or was dying or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. What infection? My, you're scaring me a bit. What happened? Why is nobody here? And why is this reminding me of Stone Edge? Have you ever been to Stone Edge? It's nice. I recommend it, but don't go when it's high tourist season. That's annoying because everybody's taking pictures and everybody's annoying and, and people... and annoying. <laughs> ah. Yes, what I want to say after uh, before he interrupted me. <laughs> they were God-fearing people, those shepherds. There was no <laughs> love in the relationship. Donnelly tells me that they had one Bible that was passed around in strict rotation. It was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776, two years before the island was abandoned altogether. In the interim, I wonder, did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit its contradictions? Don't walk too close to it so the illusion of the nice graphic goes, uh, fades away. Right. Um, I, it has been ages since I was in the, in the nature like that. I was a kid. Like I said, the last time, I think the last time I really was into something like that, something just nature, was when I was a kid up when we were in Scotland. Don't ask me where exactly we were. I don't know the name of the place anymore. It has been a bit like that. It, it was green, I was a kid, and there were mountains in the Dear water. Esther, oh. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. What? My Damascus, a small <coughs> semi-detached ah. on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. It vibrated. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I don't want to go into the water, but... Well, I'm so afraid that somebody might be here. I'm so alone. <laughs> um, I used to go there. Shite. But now going all the way back would be. Uh, shit, I can't go over there. I can try. Get your feet wet. What? Well, it's too late now. But when I jumped, it, it vibrated, so. I'm getting nervous, I don't know why. It's just like. The, I'm completely alone here. He's just talking to someone, to Dear Esther, the name of the game. Maybe he's writing a letter. Ooh, bad cave. I'm scared. 
I'm so nervous. I hear things everywhere. I'm, I'm imagining things. Should I go down the cave? Should I try to go all the way again to the lighthouse? I could try that. Oh, was it where we started? I think it was where we started, right? I don't know, but I'm going to be so really stupid and go into the cave and get killed. No? This hermit, this seer, this distant historian of bones and old bread, where did he vanish to? The Why? Fuck? Asked the farmers. Why? Asked Jacobson. Why bother with your visions at all if you're just to throw your arms up at the cliff and let it close in behind you and seal you into the belly of the island? A museum shut to all but the most devoted. Again with the paint, huh? Everybody got to rapture. You flew around with paint as well. I'm concerned. What the hell is this? I'm... I don't know what to expect from this game. I just hope it's a bit... It's just like everybody gone to Rapture. It's just like, hey, we're all friends here. Just let me tell my story and lead you around. I just walked around and... Th this cave is just to see that crazy shit there. Alright, I got it. <laughs> I like it so far. Ah, oh, bird! Music! Nice. But please don't put any humans in here. Now I'm scared of humans. If I would be in this situation, I would be scared now to meet someone. And at the beginning, I would be like, why is no one here? Could I please have a human to talk with me? But now, imagine you meeting now someone somewhere here like what the hell are they doing here and they ask the same about you what the hell are you doing here and then they're gonna kill you or you're gonna kill them and everybody's falls into insanity <sighs> I'm sorry I'm nervous I'm, I'm, I'm nervous because I don't know what happening Where am I even heading? To this I dreamt I stood in the center of the sun and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. Ah. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. With the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom. All the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Do you believe in ghosts? I'm asking you right now. You, you who's watching this, who's joining me, please hold my hand and tell me if you are believing in ghosts. Because maybe you've heard of them. There are some nice stories about Stonehenge and everything. I just want to know if you... I'm scared to go there. If you are familiar with those stories, with those sometimes sinister stories. Or maybe not sinister. For some people, ghost appearances are not sinister because they just... I'm hearing shit behind me. Because sometimes ghosts just like walk by, tell you, say no to drugs and then they go away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I'm scared that something might chase me because I can't run and I just can't zoom in. Can I please have a alien light? Like I had and everybody gone to Rapture? I, want, I would like to go to Rapture. Or oh, maybe this is the Rapture. Maybe this is the Rapture everybody's gone to. Oh my god, this is dark. I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god, this is gonna hurt. Do I have to go down there? I don't think so. Or maybe I do. Do I? 
I don't know. Let's try <laughs> loading. All right, I had to go down. I imagine you would jump from somewhere high and then blank. Donnelly. Oh, thank you. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 oh. times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. Wait a second. Um, it's somewhere between the turnoff for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. But, but are we still in chapter one? <sighs> I thought I was going to the red thing. Now there's a yellow thing. Where am I going? Is this still chapter one? I want tea. I want a blanket. I'm confused <laughs> and a bit scared. Whoa. Leaf, don't scare me. Like leaf, leaf. Um, are we still in chapter one? I don't know. Are you even telling me when you're not in chapter one anymore? Please don't hoop up any sand in my eye. I'm quite sensitive to that. The music is getting a bit eerie. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not expecting uh, any combat here. And I'm not expecting to fight something here, but this is a bit creepy. <gasps> Do you see that? What the hell? There's another person. Oh, blimey, I can feel the color drain from my face. Might you scared me? Are you... Are you a friend? Are you gone? I lost sight of you. No, there he is. Should I go there? Why am I so scared? There's the red thing I was going for, but now there's a chip. I'm I'm more scared of the person standing there than the, the disaster before me. That's... That's awful. What happened? Should I go there? Is he still there? He, he, it. I'm a bit scared. Oh god. Could the music please start again? I'm very uneasy. But please don't not don't no don't no creepy music please. Pl please don't skip. Where's the light? I want the floating light from everybody gone to rapture, please. Why am I going towards him? I'm clearly scared. And I don't even know An why. An imagined answer phone message. The tires are flat, the wheel spins loosely, Mate. and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map. Hello? Staining the landmarks and rendering the coastline mute, compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. Oh! We came... No, we don't came, we came from there. What the hell? What? Something, no drink. Failed something did he no drink? I don't know. He's gone. Why is he gone? Oh. I'm expecting something behind me. I don't know why I'm so scared. This is not good for my stomach. Very sensitive. Is it raining? Please tell me it's raining. 
I don't know why I want rain. Just to wash away the fear. Why am I going towards there? And I still want my tea, please. You need to calm down. I'm very uneasy. I don't think I could go on the ship. I don't think I should go on the ship. Like, he can't even climb that. So maybe... <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? Standing there, walking... on my screen. Scaring me. Even though I'm, I was so scared of it. And just walking in circles, I'm very sorry. But hey, you can enjoy the beautiful scenery. And I'm very tense looking up the hills now. Because I'm scared that something might walk it there again. That's, that's what I meant. Some people are chill with those appearances. Because, hey, they didn't harm you. They just scared you a bit. They didn't hurt you. Uh, they are gone. But some people just play freak out. And I don't know to which I uh, count. <laughs> it's always good to be a bit skeptical. To, towards everything, but it's also always good to keep an open heart to things. I'm trying to um, calm myself because, like I said, my stomach is turning because I'm nervous and maybe a bit scared. But you don't know that. Should I go on the ship? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Can I? I don't think I can. Da 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 I'm just someone on this island. Oh God. <laughs> I thought I heard someone like speaks, so, like talks. Of I don't know. That's nice. That's a container ship. That's great it's dead now i hope everybody survives on that ship i hope nobody got harmed and i can go on my journey now please i, don't, I can't go I on had the ship. kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital yes i had some too after the operation when i was still half submerged in anesthetic your outline and your speech both blurred now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. What the hell, mate? I mean, I had some kidney stones and gas stones too, but they didn't grow into islands. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? What? I don't know. Well, what is this? Where did I go? I'm scared that people might appear again. What is standing there? I have so many questions. Most, the most important question is, can I have some tea? I want tea and one blanket. For the next episode, I'm going to wrap me into some blanket. And prepare me some tea. Mate, where do I go? I don't know where I go. Why am I so nervous? The shadow didn't do anything to me. He just walked there, stood there, and waited for me to go there, so the man I play here can tell me something, or can read his letter. Now he told me something that he had once kidney stones, and now they're in Ireland, so he's aboard. And he's still alive with those kidney stones, apparently. No, they were removed. But, but how did they grow when they were removed? Mine didn't grow. Oh, am I walking? I'm walking back again. Oh. Oh, there's a way up. Why didn't you tell me that? We're in this together. Come on. Uh, could you please hold my hand? No, no, not that one. I need to um, navigate him with that one. Just, just, like, I don't know. Put your hand on my shoulder. <clears throat> but not like creepy, just like reassuring because I'm we're in this together. Hey, that looks good. 
What is this? Oh god, music. I've begun to climb. Away from the sea and towards the center. You're not climbing. It is a straight line to the summit, where the evening begins to coil around the aerial and squeeze the signals into early silence. Okay. The Bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. I too will creep under the island like an animal and approach it from the northern shore. Okay. Are we still in chapter one? You didn't tell me anything like what he's doing when he's he's saving. Maybe when he was loading he already saved. I don't know. I don't want to stop it now because he doesn't tell me here. He don't tell me that here. I don't know. Just hope that He's telling me, hey, you're now in chapter two. I'm saving so you can go. Hopefully. Maybe we're already in chapter The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. Yes. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainland. <laughs> He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly yeah. records that it did not work. They he could. caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. I don't like this. There was a shadow again. And everybody gone to the rapture, you scared me with people suddenly talking and they just were just like a shock like oh no a sudden voice and now it's good but here actually shadow thingies I don't like that like you could miss them and they're somehow somewhat they are eerie and would you live on this cliff? I have so many questions. Beautiful music again, just like in the by the interruption. Three like cormorants him. seen at dusk. They did not land. This house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents. My camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. Is it a baby? Or is this just... Just to s look into you? Well, yes, um, the shadow kind of distracted me when he was talking about the shepherd. I just coughed and when he said something like he died because of his disease of something. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> nice. Good. No, that didn't scare me. Stop talking like that. Alright. Again. Beautiful. Oh, maybe it's the same thing as in Everybody Gone to Rapture. Maybe. This is the same thing that got from outer space through the whole nation. <laughs> because it doesn't look like another country. I'd say it's somewhere. In, uh, the United Kingdom. <laughs> because I remember those. Um, Things he mentioned built up in the 1700s. I remember them from history class. Can I please ask again if we are still in chapter one? Is this a cape? Who's going to answer my questions? Why? This is a cape. My feet are jumping up and down. 
No, I don't. I really, I honestly don't know why the shadows are scaring me so much. They're not really scaring me to a point where, like, I don't know. What is a scary video game monster? I don't know. Uh, the War Rider from Outlast, for example. Jakobsen's rib cage, they told Donnelly, was deformed. The result of some birth defect or perhaps a traumatic injury as a child. Brittle and overblown it was, and desperately light. Perhaps it was this that finally did for him. Unable to contain the shattering of his heart. In half light, his skeleton a discarded prop. Okay. A false and calcified seabird. Okay, like I said. The, the the shadows are not so scary like the wall rider or, or the psychos from Outlast, but they're a bit eerie. They're sudden there and they walk around and that's it. And as I walked down here, he suddenly began to speak about Jakobsen's um, ribcage. I was like, that's what's going through your head? But that would be such a tight clip, it would be like... <laughs> Don't make me fall. Even though I'm not afraid of heights. It's just like, I know I can fall and I know it's gonna hurt or, or it's gonna hurt and it's gonna kill me. If it's just gonna hurt and I'm going to survive that, I'm lucky. Music again, thank you. That's a bit soothing. They found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. All around him, small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust down the shaft. But I cannot corroborate this story. Aww. When I saw you up there, I thought you were uh, a turtle. <laughs> oh, this is a bit scary. When I was, was when I was a kid, I always thought that this, 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 I hear things. Like this build-up of a ship. It kind of looks. It kind of even looks like a ribcage, doesn't it? Like a ghost ship. I don't know, I thought weird things when I was small and I still think weird things as I grew up. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. What? I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Who lit this candle? What the fuck was going on with the music? Who lit this candle? What is this? Do I have to go down there? This is beautiful but terrifying just as nature is. Who lit this candle? <gasps> I guess we're gonna find the one who's lit this candle. Jakobson. I think we are already in chapter three. <laughs> are we? What the fuck? What Did is Jacobson this? Jakobson crawl this far? Can I identify the scratches his nails ruined oh under the rocks? Am I following him, cell for cell, inch for inch? Why did he turn back on himself and not carry through to the ascent? I don't know, mate. Alright, you know what? I... I was scared of that because at first it looked like an eye from an animal. And I thought something's going to eat me. This is beautiful, yes, but I don't I don't know if we are in chapter three already. <laughs> so I guess 
I guess I'm going just going to end it here. Oh god. I guess I'm just going to end it here and maybe we're already in chapter three. He's not telling me that, I'm sorry. But um yes, what I wanted to say. I'm still a bit overthrown. <laughs> I'm not going to do this whole thing in one sitting. I'm going to end it here, whether it might be one chapter or not. And we're going to resume in this eerie cave. It's a bit scary, but at the same time beautiful. Like I said, just like nature is. And I don't like these sounds. I just like when the music starts. Thank you. Um, enjoyed it so far like I said I don't know if we are chapter one chapter two or even chapter three but just in case that um, we're already in chapter three and he's not telling me and I'm going to go on and on and it's going to end up like a two hours video and I don't want I'm going to end it here uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you are a bit spooked out like I am because it's not really scary it's not terror it's not really horror but it's just like you are all alone you don't even know who you really are. You don't even know if, if you are you are the person that's talking there. Maybe we're Esther. We don't know yet. And suddenly you see just figures somewhere. I think they're shadows because they just disappeared. They may be humans or maybe even ghosts. But it's a bit eerie. But I like it. It's really it's really interesting. I enjoy it, even though, like I said, I could feel the color fade from my face. <laughs> that kind of, of shock that was. I was like, oh my fucking god. Why just get go to it so it can kill me? <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll be off now. Goodbye.